Hi, I'm Evan Unger. I'm a board certified radiologist. I'm president and CEO and co-founder of Nuvox Pharma, and this is David Wilson. Thank you, Evan. I first heard the Nuvox story at an investor conference from Evan, where I got very excited and decided to invest my own money into the company and subsequently became the chief business officer to assist him in developing therapeutic products to treat life-threatening conditions. My background is in biotherapeutics, where in collaboration with Bristol Myers Squibb, we developed a product for melanoma that currently sells over $1 billion a year, and Bristol Myers Squibb eventually acquired the company for $3.6 billion. Nuvox Pharma is developing an oxygen nanotechnology platform. Our mission is commercialization of a first-in-class, safe, cost-effective, intravenous nanotechnology platform to deliver oxygen to treat life-threatening conditions. Some of the key messages that I want to impart, we indeed have a nanotechnology platform. We have reduced risk because the underlying material has already been tested and shown to be safe in 2,200 patients. We have a broad product portfolio. We are focused on oncology, and I want to tell you about the investment opportunities for our company. We're currently addressing tumor hypoxia. This slide shows the normal oxygen levels in the parent tissues and the level of oxygen in the respective tumors. For example, pancreas normally has an oxygen of about 57 millimeters of mercury, and you see that the tumor is profoundly hypoxic, only about two millimeters of mercury. Similar findings are seen in brain cancer and in most other solid tumors. Tumor hypoxia is prevalent, and when it is present, it decreases the response to radiation therapy and uh, to most chemotherapies. We have developed a nanotechnology product, NVX108, that increases the tumor oxygen levels and improves the response to radiotherapy. The graph on the left shows the oxygen levels in a pancreatic tumor in an animal. On breathing oxygen, the baseline oxygen is very close to zero. Then, after injecting NVX-108, we see the oxygen level rise to up to around 25 millimeters of mercury and remains elevated 120 minutes after injection. This is far greater than has ever been shown by any other technology and is the first time that anyone has been able to reverse tumor hypoxia to this degree. When we radiate animals treated with NVX-108, we see an improvement in survival. The green bar on the right shows 60% survival in animals with prostate cancer radiated and given NVX-108 versus 15% survival with radiation alone. We've also shown complete reversal of radiation resistance in liver cancer, called hepatoma, and improved survival in pancreatic cancer. There was a new drug application for the underlying technology which was filed previously with regulatory agencies. The material was approved in Europe as a contrast agent. Robust safety data was accepted by the FDA, granting Nuvox a right of reference to the previously submitted new drug application. The product was never launched in Europe because of the small size of the contrast agent market. We obtained ownership of the regulatory documents and we are regulated by the US FDA as a biologic. Regulation as a biologic confers 12 years of exclusivity for each first-in-class indication. We have a proven track record of five FDA-approved drugs and multiple successful exits. Our platform nanotechnology has shown positive results from disease models in multi-billion dollar markets. We are focused on cancer. We are a clinical stage company currently in a phase 1b clinical trial in brain cancer, glioblastoma multiforme, which commenced July of this year in Australia. We have outstanding preclinical efficacy in stroke, 
heart attack, hemorrhagic shock, and traumatic brain injury. The military has been funding the work on the latter two indications. Here are MRI scans of the first brain cancer patient treated in Australia. The image to the left is the post-surgery pre-radiation therapy baseline image. On the MRI scan, the gadolinium enhanced image shows the white region is the enhancing tumor. The image on the right is four weeks after finishing therapy. The patient received a dose of 0.05 cc's per kilogram of NVX 108, 30 doses IV over six weeks during each fraction of radiation therapy. The follow-up image on the right, four weeks after therapy, shows that the tumor has decreased in size by about 80%. There were no adverse side effects to the therapy and we are currently dosing the next patient uh, with a dose of 0.1 cc's per kilogram. Our regulatory strategy is to position this product as a potential breakthrough biologic as an adjunct to standard of care. We will file a IND in the USA for a phase 2b trial in brain cancer in the latter part of 2015. The investigation on the drug application will be supported by human multi-dose pharmacokinetic data. We will reference the prior new drug application. We have an agreement with the Radiation Therapy Oncology Group to run the Phase 2b trial through their network of more than 400 radiation treatment facilities. We have an agreement with a major university to conduct a study next year in lung cancer as well. So how will we make money with this product? The revenue bottle is based upon sales of NVX 108 in association with radiation treatment. Radiation is fractionated. If we look at the market for brain cancer, the incidence is about 10,300 cases per year. This is an orphan drug indication, uh, which makes it potentially easier to get it into the market. Uh, the market potential is about $155 million per year for this indication alone. Because of the higher prevalence of other cancers, such as lung cancer and prostate cancer, the market potential is even greater for some of these other indications. The market potential is clearly greater than a billion dollars per year in the United States alone. Some of the other potential indications, we have shown 85% reduction in cardiac and brain damage from administration of our material to treat heart attack or stroke. We've seen 100% survival in hemorrhagic shock in studies conducted by the Air Force, and our product is the only one that the Navy has tested which safely raises the brain oxygen levels in traumatic brain injury. We are currently conducting a study of sickle cell crisis in transgenic animals. These images show PET scans of rabbits with stroke. The control animal has a large area of ischemia shown on the PET scan and a correspondingly relatively large stroke. A single dose of our drug administered an hour after the stroke decreases the size of ischemia, the area of low oxygen in the brain, and decreases the size of the stroke. Uh, we have shown that we can decrease the damage to the brain by 85% and this drug has the potential to be administered safely uh, to stroke patients to keep the brain alive. On the image to the left, we see a pig that has had 50% of the blood volume removed by hemorrhage. The pigs die by about 160 minutes when they are subjected to 50% blood loss. To the right, we see administration of a low dose of our drug and the pigs survive and have a normal function and weight gain as they are followed. 100% survival uh, versus 100% death in this model. We are a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company. 
The FDA has granted Nuvox the right of reference to the prior imaging agent new drug application in 2,200 patients. A prior company called Sonus Pharmaceuticals spent about $100 million to develop these data. And so we, now owning that data, can reference that data and avoid some of the costly and time-consuming studies. Our drug has an excellent safety profile and is regulated as a biologic, conferring 12 years of exclusivity in the market for a first-in-class indication. We have five issued U.S. patents. We have a number of patents that are pending, and our strategy is to fully protect the product throughout the markets where it will be sold. To date, we have raised about $7 million. $2.8 million of this was in grants, and we have raised $4.2 million in equity in a Series A1 and A2 round. In addition, we have also raised $1.8 million in deferred compensation and rent that myself and Dr. Wilson have put into the company through sweat equity and so on that has allowed us to accomplish more with less capital. We currently have about $1 million in cash. We recently received a $225,000 grant from the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, and we will begin a $1 million Phase II SBIR grant from the National Cancer Institute later this year. Uh, Award of this $1 million grant is particularly significant because it supports our current studies in glioblastoma brain cancer and puts us in a very good position uh, to get the Phase three grant, which could be much larger and which could help to support the subsequent Phase two b trial. We recoup 45% of our current clinical trials expenses from the Australian government. We are currently raising an additional $2.5 million in equity via expansion of our current A2 round. This will enable us to finish the Phase 1B trial and file the investigational new drug application for the Phase 2B trial and also most likely secure a partnership with a major pharmaceutical company. In conclusion, our nanotechnology platform safely raises tissue oxygen levels to allow a broad portfolio of therapeutics. We are focused in oncology and are in a Phase 1B trial in brain cancer. We have decreased drug development risk because of the large prior experience of this material as a contrast agent. We are raising $2.5 million in equity, which will allow us uh, to get to a very clear and defined milestone as a valuation inflection point. And this concludes our presentation, and I'd like to thank you for your interest in Nuvox Pharma. Thank you. If you have any additional questions, please visit our website or contact me, David Wilson.